like a Chinese Jiangwei class cruiser with a North Korean destroyer escort. <laughs> Events in the Yellow Sea took a turn for the worse today when North Korean and Chinese forces blockaded and boarded a Japanese cargo ship. The North Korean government released no official statement, and their ambassador remained out of contact. While at the UN, Chinese Ambassador Long Dan urged the US and her longtime Japanese allies to remain calm, calling the blockades a legitimate response to what the rest of Asia views as a possible remilitarization of Japan. This blockade is an act of war. The NSC is working on a formal response, and they've ordered the USS Walsh to close at flank speed. The Walsh is the most advanced spy ship in history. My best man will be on board. What do you know? Chinese and North Korean ships working together again. It's what we expected. That's a 056 prototype, Chinese. Exactly. How are your sea legs? I haven't lost them. Good. Because the 056 prototype isn't the only new fish in the pond. Admiral Toshiro Otomo, head of Japan's newly formed Information Self-Defense Force, had this to say. This is another distressing attempt by China and North Korea to further depress our faltering economy. The ISDF and Japan appeal to our allies for the military support promised us under the post-war constitution of 1900 and The fact remains that in the eyes of many in Asia, the ISDF itself is a violation of the post-war constitution prohibiting Japan from maintaining a military force capable of striking beyond its borders. In Asia, the memories of Imperial Japan are still fresh. Welcome to uh, Let's Play Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. And my god, I forgot how long that uh, intro video is. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've seen that, but it's not long since I've last started to play this. And this is why I uh, got the idea for this in the first place, which you sort of implicitly <laughs> voted for. Um, also, um, I skipped that. Uh, there was some. Um, little dialogue things that come right before this screen because um, they're way too long and after this intro video let's get to some playing already uh, but I have a question for you should I actually go for the, all the trying to be do 100% uh, being very stealthy and silent and everything uh, crap or should I actually be Rambo and uh, kill everyone who I'm allowed to kill I'll leave you to decide but for now I'm gonna do sh the stealthy way so let's get going. Yes. And luckily this stupid little shader thing is never really on for long. So here we are in the game. We have a zoom function. 
that also doubled as a microphone. We have trusty old night vision, which looked, looks different than in the first two games. This is actually where we have to go eventually. Our trusty old heat vision, which also was slightly ramped up, I believe. And this EEV vision, which spots, you know, electrical stuff. So, and in the lower right we have the visibility meter and uh, below it the um, sound meter. The box telling you when you are quiet and unheard, which is right now. Also there's this weird thing that I never understood. I'm not touching the mouse wheel that increases or decreases speed right now. And uh, so when I walk now I'm practically silent because I'm walking in a straight line. When I go diagonally I'm somehow faster and therefore louder. Also, no, oh, wrong gun. Um, quick inventory. Thank you. Though there's a quick switch, quick switch button for that. Also, but I don't use it. Also, we can switch the side we fire from, but it's barely useful. And the alternate fire to this does this. It shorts out, shorts out electrical stuff. And has a little battery in the lower right corner that recharges it. The trusty old SC20K has stuff. In this, in this mission, in the stealth options, we get five sticky cameras, which I don't use that often. Sticky shockers, which I use very often because they're very, very useful. And air foil rounds, which I miss more than I like to. Flash grenades, which I practically never use. Maybe I shall. Anyway, uh. Let's get going, because I've stood outside here for a while. And, um, yeah. And, like, 90% of the time I play night vision, because it's kind of useful. Unless I want to see where those people are. Also bats, which I continually miss. Uh, yeah. Unless I want to spot guys and then I want uh, heat vision. Yeah. <coughs> and all these little crawl spaces we need to crawl into with a push of a button. Kind of context sensitive and I'm stuff. hearing gunfire down there, Fisher. Everything all right? It's coming from up ahead, but Lambert. And I think Gorilla. I think Clash the cop. What do you mean? I've had enough AKs fired at me in my time to tell you that wasn't one. All right. See if there's anything unusual going on with their equipment. Keep us posted. There's some kind of caves back here. Look! Look! There is some kind of old breach there. You know. I heard that smugglers used to use these old caves. Smugglers? See, they probably had all sorts of secret passages and tunnels down there. I will never um, really stop to listen to these people for very long, unless it's, you know, important, because Whoa, they careful. shout out the uh, key codes for locked doors and stuff, because that happens once or twice. But usually I will not actively listen to them and talk over them too, if I have something to say. Um, also, it's kind of pretty, and you know, that's one of the um, reasons I LP these games. But, um, yeah, it does show its age, Fine. Do what you like. a lot of things do. Also, I'm a pussy and uh, I quick save before I try to take down well, anyone. I'm gonna head back. Okay, I'm going to stay here and enjoy the view. No, don't move. But then again, I'm standing right next to you and I'm still invisible. So, let's grab the person and interrogate him. Didn't anyone ever tell you that Spelunky is dangerous? Oh no! You are going to kill me, right? Only if you say the word monkey. Now tell me something I want to know. Uh, ammunition and medical supplies. Check around inside the kit. They have tons of stuff in there. Some of you guys are real helpful. Why do you have to work for the bad guys? You're the American oppressor. You're the bad guy. Are you gonna say monkey? What? No! Then this conversation is over. Yeah, also the interrogations I will not talk over. Because they're semi-important. This one wasn't because it's just supplies. Also, we can use these people as human shield. One. But it's not something I'm gonna do. And I always... Oh, wrong one. Knock them out in the darkest corner available. Or in the nearest dark corner available. Also, pick up object. It's like random crap that we can pick up and throw around for distraction. 
I think that was a can. I hope nobody heard that actually. Also, this game prided itself on not being too linear, but that doesn't amount to much except that there's two ways to go. First is that one where these two guys came from, it's like a direct route, and the other one is down there, which is kind of a side passage and slightly safer. Where I shall go right now? <laughs> 